Cohesity is a late stage enterprise software company in uh, backup, you know, data security. Sanjay, always good talking to you. Sanjay, also a former top exec at SAP and VMware. So um, the, the consumption rates in enterprise software really getting affected by the macro economy. How do you expect that to continue to play out, even with some of the larger players that at this point have seemed pretty immune? Yeah, actually, you know, if you, I'm in my office at Cohesity, and right to my left is the Adobe headquarters, and uh, I could probably just look a little bit to the left and say hi to Shantanu. I expect strong results from both of them. They both have uh, very strong stories. The Firefly announcement related to AI uh, should really bolster digital media. Uh, that's the, they've always been at the forefront of some of these big trends. They were the first of driving the cloud, so I expect good results from Adobe. Uh, obviously, I'll be watching to see what they say about Figma, the acquisition that I think is very pivotal in the future. In the case of Oracle, uh, I'll be watching very closely. How does Cerner, is that starting to really uh, take their app story? They've been doing a remarkable job with cloud ERP. Uh, and AI to them could also, they've got a next gen uh, Oracle cloud infrastructure stack. They're number four or five in that market. So how they proceed there. I think the, the move in all of these categories, and it's the memo to all of us CEOs, is you have to drive profitable growth. And these are two examples of highly profitable companies, uh, 40, almost 50% growth that obviously scale 20 or 50 billion that are also growing. And that's the memo to all of us, even smaller company mm -hmm. CEOs of how we got to look at the future. Sanjay, Dave McJanet from HashiCorp was just telling us that larger customers especially are looking to optimize their cloud spend. By optimize, they're looking to spend less. They're looking to get the same amount for less, uh, for less money and, and do it more efficiently. Um, th does that necessarily just benefit larger players in the space versus best of breed newer companies? Or are, are we gonna see more uh, pull in of growth expectations based on that trend? I think it's a great question. For the larger companies, you've certainly seen the growth rates slow down in AWS, Azure, Google. So certainly law of large numbers there. They get the benefit of having much larger transaction sizes in which they can kind of play down, but certainly growth rates are slow down. For the smaller companies, you have to have two sides of the same coin. I've talked about this in your show before. A total cost of ownership solution where you are lowering cost of ownership when you look at the totality of everything you provide and a rapid return on investment, ROI. When you can offer that in a compelling fashion, most of the purchases, even for companies like us at Cohesity, and we're in a hot category of security, um, have to go off and all the way up to the CFO for approval now. Um, <clears throat> these, are, these are not as probably stringent times as we saw in 2008, but I do think you build that muscle now as a CEO and leader that will do you well uh, as we get into better times. Talk to me about cybersecurity, because it's interesting. I, I look at Zscaler, I look at uh, CrowdStrike, for example. Zscaler has had a big bounce off of those um, May levels where it was down and people were saying, oh, well, maybe they, they are going to be under pricing pressure. Uh, how able are you to maintain those profit margins based on the, the quality of your software and the need, in your case, um, to, to ward off ransomware attacks or recover from them? Well, first of all, you have to have a very clear proposition that's relevant. You know, what we're doing at Cohesity is at the junction of security, multi-cloud, and AI. So we have a strong proposition going to a customer. We have a differentiated platform that's best in its category. You talked about companies that I respect deeply. They're deep partners of us in our data security alliance. Let's talk about them. Palo Alto, one of them. They've gotten to scale now, six, seven billion. And they are exemplifying profitable growth in outside of just one category, network security, firewalls. They've got a broad portfolio. I think CrowdStrike's having a little bit of a tougher time, but they have a chance to get that. Fortinet and Palo Alto are two examples. Fortinet's probably even more uh, profitable than Palo Alto, so I respect them a lot. Zscaler and CrowdStrike are the next ones are going to have to prove that they can get to that point of scale, but they are in that 20 billion plus market cap. And obviously the big vendor that's making a lot of noise in security, also a good partner of ours is Microsoft. They've got a very formidable portfolio now in security. So I think these four or five names are the ones to watch in cybersecurity. For the smaller players, you have to, you saw this happen at Sentinel One. They weren't able to cross that chasm. They got hit pretty hard in their last earnings. Mm -hmm. It is tougher for the smaller players if you don't get to that scale quickly. All right, we're gonna keep covering it on overtime next week. Watch out for more cybersecurity. Sanjay Poonin, thank you.